you look out the window and watch the climate change happen. I think Alulasat is one of the most dramatic places in Greenland to see climate change because it has one of the largest glaciers in Alulasat Ice Fjord and it has some of the biggest changes. Um, you know, that, that band of clean exposed bedrock that I was talking about, it's really wide. It's huge in Alulasat. And you can see the glacier flowing into the sea and just how high the stresses are and the ice dynamics causing all those cracks and the icebergs flowing in the ocean. It's a very dramatic setting. So when you stand on the fjord wall and you watch those icebergs slowly going into the ocean, you're watching about 1% of the global sea level rise contribution leaving Greenland and going into the ocean. It's one of the biggest point sources of ice loss from the ice sheet today. cannot get around that. We can come up with a lot of other factors that might influence it, but our carbon footprint is the key factor in this aspect. Because we don't get around the fact that it is our carbon emissions that are the key factor in this. How I feel about this is the, the clock has, has started, and the clock now is going much faster. We're constantly speeding it up. So what we're asking our kids to do is we want them to stop the clock. We have to stop it now because by the time it gets to them, the clock will be way too fast. They won't have the time left to make a difference. We have the time now to make a difference. They won't. So I hope we actually do something so our future generations can walk on this beautiful glacier again. Those of us who study climate change, we have a pretty good, we think we have a pretty good idea of how it's happening and how it's happening faster than politicians are reacting. But an event like that comes and it's happening even faster than I think it should be happening, which makes me a little uh, cautious about where we're going in the future. It's happening faster than we forecast at the moment. will not end. If we get climate change, it will be a new situation. But we will not all die and the earth will not end. It will just be another one. Yes. And it's very important that the young people do not panic and say, oh, now everything stops. No, we have to take the challenge to think, to adapt, and to cut back on emissions in a sensible way. But take it easy. Don't panic.
my message is very simple. Please, please, please stop burning fossil fuels and go on renewables. Wind, solar, hydropower, whatever. That would be so lovely. We can all always do something individually. We don't have to wait for others to do so or tell us to do. And I think it's very important that we all think that um, we can start today. We don't have to wait. So I think focus should, should be, uh, be replacing fossil fuel on, on very large volume cons consumers like, like power plants or, or production facilities in general. Our neighbors are burning, we are drowning. So please be more thoughtful of your fossil fuel consumption and um, commute to work by, uh, by uh, public transport at least once a week. Uh, that, would be, that would be nice. I would love to say that we would love to see more education about the, the climate changes and more connection between the different countries, generally in all of the countries, about the um, climate change that is happening now. Because after all, climate change is under children's rights. Every child has the right to live in good conditions. I have um, and, and quite big workshops where I have had all from uh, local hunters to uh, you, you, you know, and also representatives from uh, the scientific community and then all the relevant stakeholders, both national and international stakeholders in relation to these issues, simply to discuss what are the important issues and how can we solve them together. I, I don't want to stimulate the ideas, I want to uh, facilitate the process of, uh, of uh, getting the ideas uh, and, and, and I think that's one of the things that I can actually, that. Uh, I can make people with very different backgrounds uh, cooperate, uh, and that's maybe my my best quality. Jiedong 才是我們每一位都必須面對的課題。变暖的洋流带来了丰富的渔业资源The best advice uh, I feel I can give to this documentary is to support civil society to become more active in promoting uh, solutions to uh, climate change. And, and I think there are two key roles that civil society can play. One is uh, as voters and put pressure on politicians and governments to be more aware of the the impacts of climate change and that we need to find solutions very soon to climate change. This, the second is becoming active consumers and put pressure on business to deliver more green products in line with the, with the net zero targets and also of course products that are green, more green in, in totality. And I think that, um, that the more you can link uh, what you're doing on spot, on site, different places in the world, to the global movements from for civil society, the more impact the documentary will have.